welcome in thanks for you guys for checking out the channel hey today what we're going to be talking about is the austin real estate market man these numbers are fire you need to stay tuned in stay locked in we're going to be discussing all about it hey and before we do that make sure you like subscribe and click the notifications bell that way if you truly mess with me you'll be getting all the information you need to get that way you can stay updated on buying your next property let's get started and take a look at these austin texas numbers now the numbers that i want to look at to be honest with you are look at the trend look at the trend this graph tells us about 2016 which is in yellow 2017 which is in blue i got neon green which is 2018 and then i have some other funky color it looks like a dark forest green in 2019 and then i have the red which is the 20 20 market analysis for Austin, Texas. As you can see, it's a bell shaped like curve. Every year, January always starts off slow and then it picks up towards the middle of the year. June, it always is one of the peaks of the year. So in 2019, April, May, I mean, May was that peak, but July ended up being that peak. And then obviously June fell right in between. This is a trend in every real estate market. I don't care where it is because people are looking to actually move into their houses before school year gets started. And look at this trend that we got right here, guys. Look at the red. Look, that bell shape was basically in March. April, May, sales were plummeting. Now, sales was plummeting don't necessarily mean prices were but sales were absolutely plummeting. It's just a telltale sign. And I said it last month, just a telltale sign that COVID-19 has had a significant impact on sales moving forward in Austin, Austin, right? That does not mean if you're a real estate agent, you're not killing it. I actually know a real estate agent personally in the Austin market that listed a $300,000 house in April and May and got it sold for $50,000 over asking price. Right. So people are still buying, still people are looking for their homes. It's just not as many houses are for sale. The inventory drops, which means there's not a lot of buyers out there. People want to wait and figure out what's going to hit the market and see if it's just the right time to do so. So right now, with a lot of cities opening up, you obviously see June. Look at the trend. Look at the skyrocket. June went up over a thousand units from May to June. Over a thousand units jumped. And that's not traditionally what we see. Typically, it's always within a couple of hundred or 500 max. But this is a trend that's only here because of COVID. So with the cities opening, everybody has their mask on. Uh, sellers now putting their homes back on the market because there's a little less certain uncertainty going on as far as the month of uh, uh, June and what the number said because it's summertime. Not people thinking they won't get sick as often, right? So these are the effects that we see. But just like the Texas market, Texas market, just like we always see traditionally from 2008, man, Texas does not take much of a dip. And guess what? My man Elon just moved in. It's huge right now for Austin. Right now, prices, business, unemployment should go down. Prices and businesses should start making a lot more money just with the job growth. People are loving Austin, Texas. It's just one of those cities, man. They always say, keep Austin weird. And if you ever compare Austin to California, hey, they are identical. Austin doesn't even seem like it's supposed to be a part of Texas. Every time I travel to Austin, I'm, I feel like I'm out of state. I feel like I'm not even in Texas. And the good thing about it, they got they got good barbecue, right? I don't even like Austin because of Longhorns. Oh, sorry about that. I hope you guys stick with me. But as you can see, man, it just can't tends to keep happening. Real estate bounces back. Austin's a strong market. Elon's moving in in the 2019 bell curve. I mean, the 2020 bell curve, it's coming again. So as you can see, we got a little bit of dip, but we're coming back over over a thousand more units on, on the market. Uh, and just whenever you have more units, you're going to have more buyers. Right. Whenever you have more, more, more units, you're going to have more sellers. It's just a byproduct of it. So right now we're seeing a byproduct of the market actually having a ton of uh, inventory on the market right now with COVID-19. A lot of home buyers are looking to purchase right now before things start slowing down. A lot of real estate agents are pushing, pushing, pushing right now. 
a lot of sellers are pushing, pushing, pushing right now because we don't want to see a second wave of COVID and cities start shutting down again. So with this being said, we are moving in the right direction for the Austin real estate market. Guys, stay excited, stay encouraged. I promise you now, if you have a flip, put it on the market and the median price, what this doesn't show is the median price. And I will get another video for that. But this does not show the median price, which we're going to come back and we're going to talk about that. But the prices are holding steady. We, we, we hear about a lot of people losing their job. and I'm pretty sure that's going to come down the line. But right now, prices are holding steady. So a lot of these people, um, uh, a lot of these people, houses are still saying, selling for the same price, which is a good thing and what we want to see. So give me one second. So, boom, let's take a look at the numbers, the numbers, right? We already showed you the single family residential properties what sold uh obviously that skyrocketed from this month to last month or from may to june now what we're looking at is year over year dollar amount we're still doing decent as far as year to date single family homes townhomes condominiums they break down here i want you to deep dive uh from this particular pro uh, project as one thing i want to let you guys know is look at the average price the average price is holding strong four hundred and twenty one thousand dollars for austin texas Man, if you're thinking about buying some real estate, now is the time. Austin has always went up in price, and it's one of those markets in, uh, that's nothing like anything else in Texas. Like I said, it's more like a California of Texas. So if you want a piece of real estate that's going to continue to just climb, Austin is the place to be, just like DFW, but we'll save that for another video. But the median price, 340 went up from this time last year and this year we got hit with COVID, right so they're still selling at a pretty darn decent price days on marketing actually show, uh, softening now you see new listings new listings 4170 hey inventory is there people are buying properties it's still what i can tell is a seller's market active listings 5300 dropped a little bit from last year which is to be expected with COVID. understood pending sales 4737 boom baby people are still buying properties it's not slowing down for nobody and if you want to buy a house right now is the time because i promise you next year austin is going to be just as solid as it was um, uh last year and, and the year before and and if you keep just going just historic just just historically based off the numbers austin has always been a performing no market force and i don't anticipate anything changing Hey, so tell me, what did you think? Was it some good stuff or what? I definitely think so. So comment below. Let me know exactly what you think about the Austin real estate market and what you think was going to happen uh, maybe in the next year or the next month, according to the numbers. Keep winning.